Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of a stage. Well, a very specific kind of stage. Today we're talking about a proscenium stage. Now, a proscenium stage is the most traditional type of stage. It's the one that we see most often in classical and contemporary theater. Um, what differentiates, which means makes different, a proscenium stage from all the other kinds of stages is the use of a proscenium arch. What is the proscenium arch? All right, so if you're an audience member, pretend you're an audience member, you're looking at a wall. Doesn't sound very interesting, does it? But there's a big square, rectangular, half oval hole cut into that wall. It's gone. So it's sort of like a picture frame. And through this hole in the wall, you see the play. You see the action of the play, right? Where the set is, where the performers are, all of that. That hole in the wall is called a proscenium arch. And all of that looks a lot like this. And this. And this. So now we're going to talk about what exactly makes up a proscenium stage. So to do this, we're going to be looking at this uh, diagram right here, pardon the art skills. All right, so you might be wondering, that doesn't look like a hole in the wall. No, it doesn't. And that's because we are looking at this stage as if we are standing on the roof of the theater and it is clear and we are looking straight down. So it's called a bird's eye view. We're above the stage, we're above the theater and we're looking down at it. So we're seeing the stage floor is here and then everything from that vantage point. So let's start from the audience, which is down here and we'll work our way up. So where the audience sits is also called the house. You've been to a movie theater, I'm sure. Many of you might have even been to traditional stage theaters. The audience sits and they're generally all facing one direction, and that is towards the play, towards the action of the play. In this instance, we are facing towards the proscenium, all right? So the audience and the house, those words are interchangeable, and that is where the audience sits. Now we look through and we have the stage. So we're gonna skip the stage apron for a second. We're just gonna go ahead and go on to the actual stage. So this here is the stage. We know that that's the stage and not all of this because that's what's visible between the proscenium arch here and here. These, remember, we're looking at it from the top down are the tops of the walls that come in and this is the hole that is cut out from between them. Now, if we were looking at this from an audience perspective, looking straight at the stage, it would have sort of a bit of wall on top, right? So that it's just a hole cut this way with a wall all the way around it. But if I drew that in, it would look like a big line going across the stage and that wouldn't make any sense. So. This is our proscenium. These are the legs of our proscenium arch. We cannot see the top of our proscenium arch, okay? This is the stage because this is what we can see, the audience can see through that hole in the wall, through that proscenium arch. Now, there is a little bit of the stage floor that sometimes, not all the time, will come out in front of the proscenium arch. This is called the stage apron, right? Think of a little apron that you put on, right? It's got a little curved bottom. Now, if you take that and you make it flat, stage apron, all right? Now, in contemporary theater, right? In the theater that we do today, in modern theater, sometimes performers will actually come out on the stage apron to perform. Traditionally, that is not the case. Traditionally, 
the performance, the set, everything is behind the proscenium arch right here, okay? A lot of traditional theaters don't even have a stage apron. And the ones that do, a lot of it can be taken away and the orchestra, the band, sits down in a hole right here where the um, floor has been removed. Um, theaters that also serve as lecture halls, right, or classrooms, um, sort of like the one that we have here at Aztec High School, um, it has a stage apron. And if people are doing award ceremonies or if you have a lecturer, right, someone who's going to lecture to a class, they'll come out and stand on the stage apron. Traditionally, though, performances take place behind the proscenium arch or within the actual stage space, which is right here. All right, so we have the audience or the house. We have the stage apron. We have the proscenium arch. And we have our stage floor, which is right back here. You might notice these things on the sides. These are called stage legs. What they are are curtains or even hard materials like wood or metal. And they go from the ceiling and they hang all the way to the ground. And they're usually put at an angle to either side of the stage area, which is right here. Now this is so that audience members sitting here cannot see into the wings, okay? But performers and set pieces and um, stage hands and all of those can come between them onto the stage. So they're not solid. It's not a huge wall right here, but it's just enough so that the audience members cannot see back into the wings, which brings me to my next point, wings, all right? Wings exist to the left and right of the stage, and they're where performers wait before it's their time to come on stage. It's where set pieces and furniture wait to go on stage, or set pieces that have been on stage for one scene and are no longer in the next scene will come off and be stored off stage in the wings. All right? Anything that is not on stage is off stage. This off stage, back behind this back wall, and not all theaters have this space back here behind the back wall. Some do, ours doesn't, um, but some do. Off stage. This wing, off stage. Anything that happens right here, on stage. Even things that happen over here on the apron, on stage. Off, 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 on, off. Okay, you can be off stage, but generally off stage is not in the audience, in the house. Now you might have entrances. Performers might come up through alleys, through the house, through the audience seats, um, but they don't wait in the house. They don't wait in the audience, okay? They might be in the lobby, which would be considered off stage. They might be in a hallway somewhere, off stage. If you're on stage, the audience can see you. If you're off stage, the audience shouldn't be able to see you. If you're supposed to be off stage and the audience can see you, you are not far enough off stage, all right? This is the general anatomy of a theater. I hope this video was informative for you um, and that it answered any questions you may have about a proscenium stage. If you do have questions about the anatomy of a proscenium stage or any of um, the parts or how they work together, please don't hesitate to let me know. I always enjoy hearing from you. Um, in our next installment, we will be visiting stage directions, including stage right, stage left, upstage and downstage. I look forward to seeing you then.